Hi YouTubers, welcome to a video on adding a second M2 NVMe drive to a Z170 motherboard um, while still including SLI and using a fairly robust chip like the 6700K Skylake level uh, CPU. Uh, I started with this video with the idea of comparing the SATA a game drive that is based on a SATA SSD versus a game drive based on an M2 NVMe drive to see whether there's any benefit, for instance, in load times in the game. But I ran into some issues with, uh, with adding the second drive that I, I solved and I thought might be very helpful for those of you out there planning to add a second M2 drive to the Z170 platform. My configuration, well, I have the um, ASUS... Um, deluxe Z170 board, a 6700K, uh, poking in that. Um, I have an M2 uh, M2950 Pro as the OS, uh, 256 gigabyte version. One, two, 1070s in SLI, um, three, at the time, three SATA SSDs, but now two as I swapped one out that I don't need. Um, I have the Asus Zonar STX sound card, which I quite like for gaming as well as music. And the M2 drive I am adding, which is um, added to the third PCI E-Lane on my motherboard using the handy Asus Hyper M2X uh, Mini uh, adapter card, which came in the box with the motherboard. So that's the plan. And then, I said to myself, well, I should be able to do this because I have um, I have enough lanes. This is an important thing to know before you get into um, adding uh, lots of graphics cards and M2 drives to your motherboard. And it's useful to know that the Z170 has a total of 36 PCI lanes split between the CPU and the chipset, 16 on the CPU and 20 on the chipset. So if you have one graphics card on in your uh, in your motherboard it'll run at the full 16 times and it'll use the top slot um, uh, of your motherboard if you have two graphics cards you'll run at 8 and 8 as I will uh, in my configuration the third PCIe slot is reserved for the chipset so you it's theoretically uh, 16 times but when these are occupied it'll run at a maximum four times or two times by default. Now, um, okay, I knew that. That's why I was able to buy the second M2 drive, or wanted to buy the second M2 drive because I was I was sure I could just stick it in this third slot and run it at four times. Because I, even though I said SLI, and I looked at my uh, configuration of PCIe lane usage, and you can do this for the Skylake platform, Z170 platform, and total up how your PCIe lanes are being occupied by various devices. So between Ethernet ports or devices, SATA ports, um, PCIe storage devices such as M2 drives um, or X2 um, or sorry U2 and um, uh, um, PCIe times one devices like my sound card. So that's a useful thing to know. And when I did total up my PCIe lane usage, I was getting close to 20. So I was thinking I should be okay, but I, I wasn't absolutely certain because some of these are shared and it's kind of difficult to figure out exactly how many lanes you are using. So when I ran some benchmarks and on the right of this graphic are the 960 benchmarks in using the ATTO benchmarking suite, I, I saw that I was basically getting half the performance of what I should be getting. So you can see that the maximum read speeds, whether the drive was loaded with 174 gigabytes of data or clean, uh, was getting, the read speeds were about 1500, let's call it. And um, the write speeds were approaching around 1400. So they, it, that's about half. It should get up to about 3000 uh, read and maybe a little bit better on the write. Um, and then when I tested my 950 Pro, just to make sure, the it was getting the theoretical or at least loaded uh, theoretical with load in the on the drive of about greater than 2000 read and um, uh, close to a thousand write and just for s's and g's i tested my 850 evo game drive which is my current um, 
current uh, game drive, and it has 174 gigabytes of data on it. And with Rapid Mode on in the Samsung Magician software, I was getting quite, well, perhaps unrealistic uh, read-write speeds, but up in the 10,000s, uh, you know, six to 10,000 range, and who knows whether that's real world or not, but that's the Rapid Mode. Anyway, that's what I expected. When you turn Rapid Mode off, I've tested this, you get the, the theoretical SATA 3, six gigabit per second uh, read-write speeds uh, of around 500. So all good, but I'm getting half the speed for the Evo, uh, the 960 Evo, which was kind of bugging me. So then I checked the Magician software, and the useful thing about this piece of software is you can see the speed of which your drive is running at. So for my 960 Evo, I was only running at two times. So my current bandwidth, the link width current, is times two, but maximum of times four. So I'm capable of the times four I want, but I'm only running at time two. So I'm wondering why that was. And perhaps I am running out of PCIe, PCIe lanes and therefore I can only run at two times. But I did check my other drive, my 950 Pro to make sure it was running at four times. And yes, it was, so that's all good. And the ATTO benchmark supports that. Also supported that the 960 was running at about half speed or two times. But I found a very useful article on Hardware Connects um, regarding my uh, motherboard and probably all said 170s, I, I assume. And the important part was this, that for at least for the Asus Deluxe and, and likely Ace, other Asus motherboards, that um, the, the, the four PCIe lanes in this slot feed into an AS Media 14A switch, and these also are shared with uh, PCI, with uh, SATA ports uh, five and six, and so it operates the this lane, this PCIe slot, sorry, operates in two times mode by default, as my Samsung Magician software confirmed. If a user needs more bandwidth in this slot for higher-end storage solutions, it can be set to use all four lanes via simple BIOS input. I'm not sure what the BIOS input is, not specified here, thereby disabling the attached SATA 5 and 6 ports. So I do know I need to disable those ports. So off I went and disabled those ports. And when it did that and retested my 960 EVO, there was no change in, in the speed. It was still about half. So there was still another tweak I needed to make and it wasn't clear from this article what that tweak was. So um, while checking out my motherboard manual and possibly um, disabling other SATA ports I wasn't using, i.e. SATA ports three and four, um, which are because I had moved over my drives to SATA ports one and two, so three and four were now empty. So I was gonna disable those and maybe get some more PCIe lanes. But I noticed in my motherboard this important little bit. It says here under the uh, onboard configuration part of the manual, under advanced options, that for the third PCIe 16 times slot, on auto, the, which is the default mode, it runs at two times and SATA 6, 5 and 6 are enabled. If you want to run it four times mode uh, for higher performance, you need to disable 5 and 6 and by setting this to X4 mode, <coughs> excuse me, Great, off I go. That's all it, that's the BIOS tweak that the article was referring to in Hardware Connects, but wasn't specific as to what that tweak was. Good, it should be all set. And here's just showing exactly where in the UEFI I did this. So this is under the advanced onboard devices configuration under the advanced menu. And I just simply toggled this from auto to X4 mode. And I had already disabled the uh, SATA 5 and 6 ports uh, under the advanced menu as well. So I should be all good to go. And when I booted back into Windows, sure enough, times 4 speed. Current times 4, max times 4, all good. And when I ran the benchmark, sure enough, there it was. I was up to close to 3,000, 2,800 or so, and getting some write speeds in around 1,600 or so. So great. That's probably what I would expect with a loaded drive. I was pretty happy and I could get on to doing some uh, other types of benchmarks as this graphic should 
would show. So stay tuned for some real world <laughs> differences, if there are any, between using an M2 drive as a game drive over a SATA SSD used as a game drive. We'll see if there's really any benefit. Cheerio, bye, and stay tuned for that video.